This lesson continues from the previous one, root parameters, nesting, and scrolling behavior. If you want to follow along with the examples, you'll need an app with the router package installed, along with some folders and files. We have three folders called router, views, and components. In the views directory, we have two components called home page and users page. Each of them have a heading that allows us to easily identify which one is loaded. In the router directory, we have our router setup file called index.js. Inside it, we have two lazy loaded named routes that link to the home and users pages. In the root app component, we router link to the routes and show the router view below that. A root guard is a method that can execute custom logic before or after a user goes through a route. For example, we can restrict access to a member area unless a user is authenticated through a login system. Or we can warn a user of any unsaved changes in a form before they navigate away. The view router package gives us access to three hooks. The method for each hook depends on where it's used. Global hooks will affect all routes. Local hooks in the root definition will affect only the route it's attached to. And local hooks in a component will affect only the route for that component. Each guard takes a callback function as an argument that automatically receives two parameters. Two is the route we're navigating to. And from is the route we're coming from. A route guard can return a false value if we need to prevent navigation through a route. Or, it can return a route path that we want to redirect to. The callback functions can also be async. Let's start with the global route guard hooks. The before each hook is invoked before the user navigates through the route. The before resolve hook is invoked after all the in component guards have been executed, but before the navigation happens. And the after each hook is invoked after a page has been loaded. We call these hooks on the router config object before we pass it to our app with the use method. If the router is configured in a separate file, we call them before the export. As we mentioned, the before each hook will run before any route in our router is loaded. A possible use case for this guard is to restrict access from a member area until a user has logged in. As an example, let's restrict access to everything in our app except the home page. When we run the example in the browser, there's a problem that's not immediately obvious. If we open up the console, we'll see that view stop the app from executing. Remember, before each is global. It will redirect all routes, including the one we return, causing an infinite loop. We want to redirect to the home page only if we're not already on it. So, we can use the to parameter to access the root name and evaluate that we're not on the home page. If we run the example in the browser, the root guard still works and the warning in the console is gone. The before resolve root guard will run after all in component guards have been executed, but before the navigation happens. For example, after a user has been authenticated, but before the member area page is loaded. A use case for this hook would be to fetch a user's data from an API because we already know the user is authenticated. To keep our example simple, we'll log a message to the console instead of creating a user authentication system. If we run the example in the browser and open the console, we'll see the messages when we navigate through the pages. The after each guard will run after the navigation has happened. This guard can't block access, like the before each one. A use case would be to send analytics data to your storage layer. For our example, we'll just log messages to the console. It should be noted that after each is executed, 
each time the page is loaded, even if the user is currently on that page. If we navigate to the user's page and click on the link a few times, we'll see that the console log is executed multiple times. There is only one guard we can define inside the root array, namely, before enter. It works the same as before each, except it's only executed for the root we define it in. The to and from parameters are specified in its parameter list, instead of a callback function. For our example, we'll block access to the user's page and show an alert message. Like with all the guard hooks, we can redirect to another page by returning the path. If we switch over to the browser and try to access the user's page, we're redirected back to the home page after the alert. The local in component guards are called from within the component that we want to guard as an option. Before root enter is executed before the user navigates through a root. The before root update hook is executed before a reused root has been changed. And before root leave is executed before the root has been navigated away from. As with before each, the option takes the to and from parameters directly instead of in a callback function. All in component guards are executed before the global before resolve guard. As we mentioned, the before root enter guard executes before the component is loaded. As an example, let's add the guard to our user's page block access to it, and redirect to the home page. We'll also remove the before enter guard on the root definition that we have from the previous example, because it overrides component level guards. If we run the example in the browser and try to access the user's page, we'll be redirected back to the home page. The before root update guard is executed when the root that renders a component has changed. As an example, let's add a new page in the views folder called user single. It'll take a root parameter as a prop and display it in the template. In the root definitions, we can add it as a child to the user's root. In the users page, we'll define a few users and link to each of them with their ID as the root parameter. We'll also add the guard and have it log a message to the console. What happens is that when we navigate between users slash one and users slash two, the same user's root is used. So, before root update is executed. 
and, because the component is already mounted at this point, we can use this to access the data property. If we run the example, navigate to the user's page, and click on a user's name, it'll show a console log of all the users. The before root leave guard is executed just before the user navigates away from the root. A common use case for this guard is to warn a user that they have unsaved changes in a form. To keep the example simple, we'll just add a browser confirmation message that asks the user if they want to leave. If we run the example and try to navigate to the user's page, the confirmation message will show. In the next video, we'll learn how to use the Vuex State Management API when provide and inject isn't enough. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.